I'm Kaito Okinawa, a 23-year-old office worker. On Saturday, I was unexpectedly working on the weekend's overtime, but I was feeling very bright. Miss Naha, I'm done with my tasks, so could you please check? Thank you. Then, can you prepare the documents we'll be distributing in the meeting on Monday? Okay. This is Shuri Naha, my direct boss who's 26 years old. She's calm and relaxed, so for an introverted guy who dislikes loud environments, being around her made me feel comfortable. Her expression doesn't change much, so it's difficult to read her emotions though. Hmm. I'm almost done, but I'm starting to lose concentration. Here, have some jasmine tea. Oh, thank you. Do you think you'll get it done soon? I'm okay. You can leave it to me now. You can go home. Thank you. Okay then, good work today. Thank you. After she left, I drank the jasmine tea she kindly prepared for me and got back to finishing my last part. Fifteen minutes later, I was finished with my work and was getting ready to go home. Phew! Finally done. Hmm. How should I spend my day off tomorrow? Hey, Okinawa! Huh? Tomonaga? He's Tomonaga, my colleague who works at another department. I didn't know you were also working overtime. Yep, good work today. I bet it was stressful working overtime with Miss Naha. Huh? Why? Because it's difficult to understand what she has on her mind. Makes me feel like I'm suffocating when I'm around her. Well, an extrovert like you might feel that way. But for me, I feel really comfortable being around her. I don't have to engage in some random talking to fill the silence, so it's relaxing. Okay, so do you like her? Like? I mean, I do like her as a person. Hmm, I guess it's not like you want her to be your girlfriend. Girlfriend? It would be nice if she was but I wouldn't be suitable for that position. Then it's no problem! Let's go to the beach tomorrow! Huh? And we'll hit on girls and find a girlfriend! Huh? Hit on a girl? And find a girlfriend? I always thought you needed a partner in your life. That goes for me too! Nah, if you want one, just go alone. Come on, please. Let's go there together. I don't want to go to the beach alone. Uh. My chaotic friend was inviting me to go to the beach with him out of 100% goodwill. At the end, I just couldn't say no. And I had to try hitting on a girl for the first time. The next day, I arrived at a nearby beach and waited for my friend at the place we agreed to meet up at. I would never visit this place if he hadn't invited me. How long has it been since I visited a beach? I'll just have fun today. Forget the hitting on girls part. Huh? The message from Tomonaga. H huh? I had received a message from Tomonaga that he can't make it today due to something urgent. It was a hard decision to make whether I'll go home or not, but now that I'm here, I decided to stay walking towards the beach in a swimsuit alone. Gosh, but everyone's either here with their family or partner. It's so lonely being alone. Guess I'll leave after a quick swim. Uh, hi. Huh? Do you mind if I join you? Huh? A super pretty girl is talking to me? What? What's going on? Are you here alone? Yes. I was supposed to come here with my friend, but he's got something urgent to do. Okay, me too. I see. Do you want to hang out? Huh? 
What? Am I being hit on? You don't want to? I... It's not like I don't want to. Okay, then let's play. Even after I went into the water with her, I was really nervous. <laughs> it's ticklish around my feet. Oh no. I said okay without giving much thought, but my heart is going to burst. Is this a hidden cam or something? Or a badger game? Should I say no? Although it might be too late? What's wrong? No, uh, it's nothing. Okay. Hey, let's go to the deeper ends. Oh, be careful when you're walking. Oops. Whoa, are you okay? I, I'm okay. I'm sorry. Can you lend me a hand? Yes. It's difficult to walk in the waters even in the shallow areas. And it might be dangerous if you're not wearing any shoes. Should we get you some beach sandals? It's so much fun. Huh? I haven't played at the beach like this since I was a small kid. I'm glad I came today. Right. It makes me feel relaxed just by looking at the ocean. Oh, yeah. It's actually really relaxing. <laughs> Maybe it's because you're next to me. M maybe The woman who approached me didn't party like crazy or make loud noises. And I was able to enjoy my time at the beach feeling relaxed. In the loud, busy environment around us, our time together slowly passed by. We swam a lot, ate some lunch, and watched the ocean waves without doing much. Time passed by, and soon, the sky had turned orange. It's getting colder. I don't want to, but I should get going. Um, thank you for today. I was nervous at first, but I was able to spend a great time today. Great. Me too. Uh... Hmm? Should I ask for her name? No, it's nothing. But I guess it's too much to ask. Okay then. Goodbye. Goodbye. I thought it would be better for me to cherish the time I spent with her as a summer memory rather than asking for her name and continuously hoping for us to meet again. So, I didn't ask for her name. And we separated under the orange sky. On Monday, during lunch break, Tomonaga was apologizing to me first thing. I'm so sorry. I was the one to invite you, but I couldn't make it. No, don't worry. Then we'll try again this weekend. Huh? I'll be looking forward to it. See ya. Hey, Tomonaga. He just left one-sidedly making a promise. Well, I don't mind though. Bet I won't be seeing that woman again. Okinawa? Miss Naha? Hello, miss. I have a question I want to ask. When are you going to the beach again? Huh? What does that mean? Why does she know that I went to the beach yesterday? I haven't mentioned anything about the beach in my conversation with Tomonaga. Was she watching me yesterday? Huh? Yes? I... I didn't know she was also at the beach. What did you see? I mean... everything. Everything? Oh no! What's wrong, Okinawa? She was keeping an eye on every conversation I had with that mysterious beauty. Why am I feeling like this? We're not dating or anything, but it feels awkward. Uh... About yesterday. Okinawa? Yes? It was a lot of fun. Huh? Goodbye. 
What does she mean? Does that mean you're not warning me not to go overboard and not to have high hopes? I had no courage to ask her what she meant. I felt awkward and pressured around Miss Naha for the rest of the week, which was unusual because I usually felt very comfortable around her. That Sunday, I was at the beach with Tomonaga. Whoa! The blue sky, blue ocean, and girls in blue bikinis! Look! They're wearing a variety of colors. Alright, which color should we start from? Wait, are we deciding based on the color? Come on, I feel it! <laughs> Gosh, he never changes. Well, I guess I'll tag along because he couldn't make it last week. Oh, there you are. Huh? Did I make you wait? Huh? That mysterious beauty from last week? I can't believe I met her again. Huh? Hey, Okinawa. Who's this beauty? Uh, I... Um... Don't tell me you actually succeeded in hitting on a girl last week. Hey, wait, Tomonaga. Gosh, you betrayed me! But congrats, man! Guess I'll just go hit on a girl alone then. Shoot, hope you have a happy ending, bro. Hey, Tomonaga! He's gone already. I guess he found out about us. Are you okay? Huh? Oh, I don't mind. I see. I'm glad to hear that. Huh? Huh? Then let's thank Tomonaga and spend some time together. I like to spend time with you. Huh? Hmm? What's wrong? No. I... I don't know. But I saw Miss Naha in her for a second. At first I thought I was just overthinking it, seeing her inside her who was very different. But as I spent time with her for another day, I started to realize that I wasn't hallucinating. The next day, I was working overtime alone and remembering what happened at the beach yesterday. I finally understand the reason why I got attracted to her. She resembles Miss Naha. She has a similar atmosphere around her. How I felt so relaxed to be with her. It's exactly the same. This is bad. I shouldn't take advantage of her as an alternative of Ms. Naha. <sighs> huh? Here, have some jasmine tea. Ms. Naha? I thought you went home. It made me worry seeing you upset for the whole day. I know you feel relaxed when you have some jasmine tea I prepared for you. Thank you. Right, Ms. Naha was always considerate of me. I just can't make myself believe that I didn't have feelings for her. I have a crush on her. Hey, Okinawa. Have you scheduled your next visit to the beach? I won't go to the beach anymore. Huh? W why I want to draw a clear line. What line? If I go to the beach, I might meet her again. I don't want to take advantage of her and treat her as an alternative of my crush. Sorry to make you worried. I'm okay now. Oh, okay. I don't really know what's going on, but are you tired of the beach now? Yeah, something like that. N then, Okinawa, how about we visit the pool? Huh? My mind froze hearing her invite me out of nowhere. The next night, I was waiting for her under the parasol at the night pool near our office. I... I can't believe Ms. Naha actually invited me to go with her. She said she had some extra tickets, but I guess she kinda... likes me too. I can't miss this opportunity. Oh, there you are. Hello, Ms. Naha. Wait, huh? 
That mysterious beauty! I'm sorry, it took me some time to buy these mocktails. Huh? What? Why? What? It's important to keep yourself hydrated before swimming. Let me sit next to you. Well, wait a minute. Miss Naha's about to join me. If she finds us together, it's all over. There are so many couples here. Huh? W wait! Do you think they see us as a couple too? This is bad. What do you think? I'm sorry. Huh? I actually have a crush on someone else. Huh? I'm sorry you ended up being like I lied to you. My crush is really similar to you. She has a very similar aura around her. It makes me feel relaxed when I'm with her. I... I see. I'm sorry. I got the wrong idea. No, it's my fault for not telling you at the beach. Please forgive me. No, it's okay. I'm fine. Oh no, I made her upset. If only I was honest from the very beginning. Oh, don't look so upset. Here, have some jasmine tea mocktail to calm yourself down. Yes? Huh? What's wrong? Uh, why do you know that I like jasmine tea? Huh? Because it's your relaxation drink, isn't it, Okinawa? Huh? Why do you know my name? What? That's what I call you in the office. Huh? Office? What? I'm seeing Miss Naha in her again. Um, are you Miss Naha? Yes. Huh? Now that I finally realized that what I never believed to be true turned out to be the very truth, I yelled out my surprise so loud that the other visitors were giving me a judgmental look. To escape from the cold stairs, we visited a bar located at the highest floor of a hotel. I guess it was all my misunderstanding. I never knew you were inviting me when you asked me when I was going to the beach. I'm sorry. My words weren't enough. No, it's my fault for trying to act cool. Trying to remember it as a summer memory. Gosh, I messed up real bad. But I'm glad. Huh? Because you fell in love with my aura rather than my looks, right? Me too. As I told you at the beach, I love spending time with you. Miss Naha. I'm glad I mustered up my courage to invite you to the pool today. I don't need anything dramatic to happen to me like in the movies. I want to spend a relaxing time with you forever. Me too. Miss Naha? Will you be my girlfriend? Yes. Like this, we officially became a couple, feeling relaxed and comfortable around each other. A year later at our wedding. Huh? Miss Naha, you're beautiful! Thank you, Tomonaga. You don't have to thank me. Gosh, I never expected you to get married to Miss Naha. I thought you married that mysterious beauty in a bikini. You're talking about the same person. Huh? No way, that's impossible, right? Look at her face closely. You're right. H hey, Okinawa! What? Do you have any plans of wearing a swimsuit during the after party? Of course not! 